on war. As you know, as an 18-year-old, I went to Ripon College, voluntarily joined the ROTC unit there, and I expected to go over to Vietnam and kill people that I didn't know. I remember very distinctly our Colonel Van Diesel making it very clear to us that the purpose of the army was to kill people, first and foremost. Hopefully we were killing bad people, but it wasn't our choice. We went over there, our commander said, kill those men, we would kill them. And that's what we did. And their commanders said the same thing, and they shot right back and they killed some of us. As it is, I didn't go into the army, I did not go into Vietnam, and I have never killed anyone. I want you to think just for a moment about the contrast of the words kill and murder. If a deranged, horrid person comes into your house and chops your wife into little bits, and you come home and you stab him with a knife, you are guilty of murder. Sounds horrible. If you are in the field and your commander says, shoot that man, and that man is no different from you, he loves his country, he thinks he's out there protecting his country, he's obeying his commanders just like you're obeying your commanders, he and you would be best friends if you met otherwise. And, and sometimes you will be best friends in 20 years. That happens all the time. Why do soldiers come back and get together? What is going on? Why are we killing each other? And so, you're part of the Air Force. Your mission is to kill people. Right now, you obey your commanders. That is the way things go. Right now, your commander-in-chief is Barack Obama, a man I respect in some respects and disdain in others. And of course, the military is one of them. I don't want to be killing anyone. And I want you to think about this one all the time. As you prepare your jets to go off and kill people, or train the pilots to kill people, how do you feel about the people that they are killing?